What's up my ponyos? Andy with Andy Vlogs. Excited to share with you guys this content here. As the title suggests, guys, we're going to be going over a comparison video of the two different leathers that uh, Nomad has recently released. Uh, iPhone 14 is out. I just got my 14. I do have a 14 Pro Max dummy phone. Unfortunately, my Pro Max is not here yet. It's not going to come till October at the time of this video. It's like mid September, but that's not going to keep us from being able to show off these two incredible products. I do have a relationship with Nomad, just full disclosure, so you guys know they did provide these products to me complimentary. With that said, uh, down below in the links in the description will be the product pricing and availability. We're going to show you here uh, you know, whether or not you should pick the Harwin leather uh, as opposed to their modern leather. Uh, very, very similar. However, one is vegan leather. The regular uh, leather, this is the Harwin leather. The regular leather is vegan. This is sourced hide from uh, Chicago. Let's jump into this. All right, packaging, very, very similar. What's nice is they are uh, carbon and climate neutral, which means that the materials that they use are very much from recycled material, as well as can be recyclable, which is cool. Uh, on the right-hand side here, we've got the modern leather. This is the vegan leather. And then on this side is the hide. Whatever you, you prefer, it's totally up to you. It could be the fact that, uh, you know, you want to have a cruelty-free kind of a situation. I personally... I don't mind either way. I actually, uh, I, I would prefer uh, just before we jump into the Harwin leather, because as I pull it out, it's literally. I, I seriously, guys, I, I can't stress this enough. The moment I open that up, I can smell the hide, and it is, uh, it is a very, very comforting smell. I love the smell of fresh leather uh, that has been treated and done well, and and that's what the Harwin leather here uh, gives you. Every single time you pull it out of your pocket, every single time that you're, you encounter it, you have that incredible feeling, that smell. So I'm sorry to interrupt our regular um, programming here. I just want to unbox it, but I, I had to make that apparent here with my expression. As you can see, the treated hide here, the hoeing leather, is a little bit lighter. Both of these are the same uh, brown, rugged brown or whatever. I think one's brown and one's rugged brown. Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, I know that the vegan leather does come in uh, uh, many more different uh, colors. It comes with black, you got blue, you got a, a bunch of different, uh, you know, dyed uh, vegan leather. However, the Horwin leather comes in black and in gray, or not gray, brown. Looking at the builds here, I think as far as the build quality, they use the exact same uh, polycarbonate case as well as the microfiber uh, insert on the inside it's got the same MagSafe technology so the only thing really that we need to talk about is the hide and the difference uh, before we go into that though I did want to show you here uh, what a um, a patina will look like where did my phone go darn it I guess I won't be showing you that that's not good oh there it is <laughs> sorry uh, I have last year's uh, leather this isn't Harman leather but this is their rugged leather uh, this was supposed to patina after 100 days and it did just beautifully this is about a year so we have 365 days worth of um, patina look at that it darkened you've got all of the bumps and scratches and abrasions and all that good stuff on the hide on the edge here you'll note here just the way that they've uh, manufactured this having the leather wrap around and glued into the case it uh, it is a sponge for that work as you can see it is worn out with that said though uh let's take a look at the two cases in question as you can see they are tooled and they are manufactured and i don't know what the word is for working leather but they're worked the same the, the leather does go around the corner which is nice uh, and then it, it, it it's glued into the tpc case both cases have uh, the volume rocker that is aluminum they both have the same punch outs on the bottom with the availability of the wrist strap. They both also have that rigid button. Now, I, sh I, I need to buy some calipers, but it seems like it seems like one might be thicker than the other. I don't know, but we're not going to go into that much nerdiness. It has a microfiber lining, which is nice and uh, corky to the touch. It feels like cork, not quirky. Um, but yeah, let's uh, let's go ahead now before 
we move into placing it into the phone that show you the differences between the two. Again, this is the vegan leather, this is the Horween leather. The vegan leather first, let's show you it up close. Pretty uniform hide there. You can see it's brand new, looks really good. Compare it now to the Horian leather. You can see it is a lighter hue. I'm trying to get the, the same angle. It just feels thicker. It feels, I don't know if I can say like it feels real. I'm not trying to like psychoanalyze it here, but it really feels different to the touch. The Horian leather really, really looks great. Obviously it smells good. It feels good and looks good. Let's go ahead now and uh, place it into the case. Show you what that looks like. I don't have another dummy phone, so we'll have to switch in just a second. So you guys can see, I like how they raise the, the polycarbonate cases raised so that, you know, if it lands on its, on its face, it doesn't scratch the screen. It gives you enough clearance for your dynamic island. I have to say that every video. On the back side here, it's got clearance enough for your lens. And I love how the uh, the volume rocker is nice and clicky. I mean, I don't know about any other objective differences between the two. It's, it's going to be a hard sell, guys. Um, you know, it just depends on your lifestyle. If you want a leather that is locally sourced in the United States from Chicago, from a company that's been around for like almost 200 years, then the Horman leather is yours. That's what this is, this is the Horman leather. If you want something that is, you know, a little more cruelty free, matches your lifestyle and maybe your political beliefs, that might be something you're interested in. Both of these are beautiful, beautiful cases. Let's go ahead and show you here now that uh, they are both MagSafe compatible. We've got the Horman leather and the MagSafe, it's just fine. The rugged leather, the modern leather is just fine as well. It'll, as I throw my cases off, you can go ahead and connect it to the duo if you want. If it's just nicely on there. It's not super strong as far as the uh, duo goes because the duo is pretty heavy, but your, um, your MagSafe case is going to be fine. Your MagSafe uh, charger. All right, with that said, my Pungyos, it's definitely going to be up to your preference here. They're very, very similar. Um, it's really, 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 really hard to be able to distinguish between the two if you didn't already know which one was which. Uh, one is slightly t lighter in tinge. Um, one smells immaculate, if a smell can be immaculate. Um, it's, it's priced a little bit differently. They're both uh, on the higher end of, of the price point of a case. Uh, but I think, honestly, the Horman leather is what I'm going to go to. This is going to be my daily carry. It just looks so good, and it smells great. When I'm in a meeting at work, I want to pull this out, and everyone say, Andrew, what have you got there? <laughs> Nonetheless, guys, just know that I have that relationship with Nomad. They have provided these complimentary to me. Uh, down below in the links in the description will be the product price and availability as well as all the accessories we go over here today Thanks so much for watching guys. I appreciate it. I do go live weekly So make sure you hit that subscribe button. We'll catch you on the next one